Now, I had been thinking to myself, and I was like, yo. What is going on with Candace Owens? What is happening with Candace Owens? Because it's like, I remember what happened with her and Ben Shapiro, and I had covered that here at the Millionaire Morning Show. Uh, and I plan on getting into it and deep diving into it all over the weekend, so we'll see what's happening. But when she had got into it with Ben Shapiro, based off of whatever was going on with these anti-Semitic comments and all of this stuff, and then she started going on tour. And then it almost seemed as though she wanted to expand her audience and expand her reach and make sure that she was running up so she could prepare herself for what was happening over at the Daily Wire. And I never expected her to stick around in the Daily Wire because basically Ben Shapiro had disappeared off of my radar. It was, it was almost like she had became outcast. You know what I'm saying? But I think that Candace Owens is too talented Man, too great to be subjected to what's going on over at the Daily Wire. But let's get into it a little bit. I'm going to read a little bit for y'all, and then we're going to deep dive into a, uh, uh, somebody's analysis of what's going on over at the Daily Wire. So basically, they base on every single media site, whether you're talking about um, um, The Hill, you're talking about NBC, at CBS, all across the board, they basically saying that it's Ben Shapiro's emotions and feelings that got her removed from over at the Daily Wire. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to read that super chat shortly. Uh, it goes on to say that Shapiro's conservative media empire has cut ties with Candace Owens amid a lengthy public feud between a far-right pundit and her bosses over the Israel-Hamas war. Listen, of all of the things that they've been through and all of the bags that they ran up over there, uh, as far as you know, conservative pundits and everything like that, I think that they're making a big mistake. The biggest mistake ever. And it's funny to look at how this played out because now we got hindsight to be able to look at it and pay attention to it. If you're paying attention to what's happening with Candace Owens, right, you see that she is the star. She's a 34-year-old black woman conservative that is intelligent and married to a man that's from another race. It can't get any better of a setup than that. She has access to a conservative audience that absolutely loves her talking points. Black people largely from a cultural perspective are starting to experience a shift over into being more conservative, especially people that are in her age range because she's still young. She's still 34 years old. She has an entire runway ahead of her. And if there's anybody that you, sh you sign outside of Shannon Sharp right now is Candace Owens. If there's anybody that you sign that has a runway ahead of them all the way, I mean, look, there's people that even say Candace Owens could possibly run for president one day. If there is ever a bigger fumbler, and don't get me wrong, I'm not ever going to disregard the, the business acumen of Ben Shapiro because they've been able to build the Daily Wire, obviously, but if there's ever been a bigger fumble than or a bigger potential fumble than what Fox did with Shannon Sharp it gotta be what the Daily Wire is doing over there with Candace Owens considering that she is the star it's not Ben Shapiro I know that everybody like nerds and people like when nerds go back and forth and debate on Turning Point USA and stuff like that but he is not the star he is a co-star but she is definitely, look, it don't matter if you like her or dislike her. I'm talking about money. Shout out to Jay Hunter Lee. I'm talking about money. When it comes back down to it, Candace Owens is the star. And I ain't, listen, we don't care about whether or not she run for president or not. I'm talking about the ability to be able to generate revenue and visibility. Revenue and visibility is what's happening. It says the media conservative empire has cut ties with Candace Owens amid a lengthy feud uh, over Israel and Hamas. The Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. Shapiro's co-founder, Jeremy Boring, uh, tweeted on Friday morning, the rumors are true. I am finally free. Candace posted on her own X account, representatives of the Daily Wire, and Owens did not immediately respond to requests for additional comment. I think that at that point, they was just waiting out the contract for whatever it is that they signed. She she served out her contract. She was professional the entire time. She didn't get emotional about it. 
that just tells you that censorship is real even on the conservative side. Uh, Owens joined Shapiro's outlet in 2021, uh, hosting daily podcasts, prominently featured her band. Uh, Shapiro often had come to the defense of Owens' rhetoric, but following October 7th, Hamas-led attack on Israel, the pair began a very public battle that at one point featured the Daily Wire co-founder daring his star podcaster to quit. Ben Shapiro is emotional. He's emotional. The feud began last November when Owens tweeted that no government anywhere has a right to commit genocide. Commit a genocide. Uh, while she did not specifically mention the state of Israel, her remarks were widely condemned by her fellow conservative media figures soon after Shapiro publicly called Owens' behavior disgraceful and chided her uh, full sophistication on the Israel-Hamas conflict. Days later, their feud became even more personal. Owens posted to X a series of Bible verses suggesting you cannot serve both God and money. That pointed remark was viewed by many as a not, not so subtle use of the anti-Semitic dual loyalty trope against Shapiro, who responded, Candace, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. Emotional. Listen, you don't go back and forth. Complaints go up. Complaints go up, not down. If you're the boss, <laughs> if you ever see me going back and forth with somebody that, that is under me, that I am paying, that's a problem. If you ever see me sitting here putting uh, me and my chick get into it or my wife get into it and then I'm sitting here holding her accountable on a live stream, that's beta male behavior. That's beta male behavior. All right? Um, on that same week, Owens appeared for a friendly interview on Tucker Carlson's web show where she lamented Shapiro's ad hominem attacks, which they were. Uh, and said she would not respond to him on a level of intellect because there's nothing that he has expressed that he fundamentally disagrees with in terms of what I said. So she she said that, listen, Tucker Carlson don't even, I mean, uh, Ben Shapiro don't even disagree with me. So I'm not going to even stoop down to that level of throwing ad hominem attacks like he did. So you knew it was go. It was over back then. It was over. Uh, Carlson agreed, taking issue with how Shapiro has skipped past saying, I don't think she's correct, or maybe she didn't know, she doesn't know what she's talking about, and went to straight labeling her absolutely disgraceful. But the Daily Wire and fighting appeared to reach its final stage this week when Owens, like, a, like the social media post, asking conservative rabbi uh, whether he is drunk on Christian blood again, an overt reference to anti-Semitic blood libel, canard that has regained popularity on the far right via QAnon. Days earlier, Owens dabbled in other anti-Semitic tropes by suggesting there's a Jewish gang in Hollywood. Oh, when you start going against the grain, they don't like it. And so when she started talking about it anymore, they was like, we're just going to go ahead and cut ties with you. The pair had previously come into public conflict in October 2022 when Owens defended Kanye West tweet that I'm going on Death Con 3 on Jewish people. Owens said that the MAGA rapper shocking post, if you're an honest person, you did not think this tweet was anti-Semitic. So because she didn't condemn what Ye was doing, and she was just like, people are free to do what they want to do, and I don't necessarily label him as a hateful person, they took issue with that. At the time, Shapiro appeared hesitant to criticize Owens, one of his media empire's most influential first personalities. On a personal level, he said, I get Candace defending her friend. He said at the time, offering over only a tepid rebuttal, I, do not, I don't think her defense is convincing. It appears Shapiro wasn't so gentle this time around. On one hand, you can't tell somebody what to do with their company, right? So as long as they came to an amicable dis uh, uh, agreement as far as what the contract terms were, and he let her go or whatever, or she decided to quit, then that's their business. On the other hand, you can say that he was getting emotional. <laughs> I don't really care what you do, because if you're the star, then I got to make sure that I protect the bags. Listen, all money in, as Nipsey Hussle says, no money out. All money in, no money out. And the same thing is being said across multiple different platforms. Candace Owens departed Ben Shapiro's website after anti-Semitic commentary. Uh, goes on to say on the Hill, Candace Owens is out at the Daily Wire. 
on NBC News, conservative pundit Candace Owens is out at right wing media outlet Daily Wire. The CEO says uh, that's another article that I was going on over about the air, about that uh, Little Rock, Little Rock director that got in that firefight. But here's somebody else's perspective. And I know that Patrick Bet David, look at sister. Jesus Christ, sis. I'm going to get to that one second. I'm, I'm going to read that one second. Shout out to sister. Uh, here's another breakdown of it from somebody uh, that basically highlights uh, the Candace Owens leaving the Daily Wire. This one is a media story, not necessarily as serious, but certainly does tell Let us a little bit this, about the uh, world computer real that quick. we live in, about the discourse around cancel culture and all of that. So let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. Uh, news breaks this morning from the Daily Wire CEO, Jeremy Boring. He tweets, quote, Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. So this comes after a lot of internal consternation between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro that has exploded in the open after October the 7th. Candace has been quite vocal in an anti-war stance, both on Ukraine, and has carried over a lot of that consistency to the war between Israel and Gaza. She's been particularly outspoken about civilian casualties in Gaza and has also been against sending U.S. weapons to Israel. Now, obviously, this all broke out into the open You'll recall a few months ago when Ben Shapiro was asked on camera and called her comments about Israel, quote, disgraceful. Uh, this led to a public spat between the two in which Ben replied to her and said, Candace, you are welcome to quit at any time. Uh, there was some speculation that that might have been to involve having to pay her out of her contract. The circumstances, obviously, of her departure are not 100 percent clear. What we do know, though, is that it came almost immediately after a major uh, fracas, I guess you could say, with with the ADL. Let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. Just yesterday, the ADL, the so-called Anti-Defamation League, and one of the most censorious organizations and pro-Israel groups in the U.S., they put out an article stating, quote, White supremacist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes is praising Candace Owens, quote, vitriolic anti-Semitism. It is hardly surprising, but it does set off alarm bells. When bigoted people come together to push an anti-Semitic agenda, it adds fuel to the fire. Uh, so Candace replied to this. She says, quote, I do not know Nick Fuentes. You already know that. What I do know is that everyone can see what you guys are doing to me. Your pattern is well established and the world is waking up against it. My crime is having stood up for myself against your network of smears now Ooh, talk to him candy just like candace uh i was looking at a patrick bet david uh clip or live stream where he basically just a little bit ago probably less than 24 hours ago had already predicted that candace owens and ben shapiro will be breaking up i don't know if he has some kind of insider information i think that candace owens is going to get a host of different pitches Listen, she is going to be the hottest free agent on the market. And I believe that she's going to get a whole lot of offers. I think that Patrick Bet David is probably going to offer a bag. I also believe that Fox News probably is going to offer a bag. If I was in a position to offer her a bag, I would offer her a bag. And I think that the Daily Wire is absolutely off. Because the one thing that's talented about Candace is that not only does she stand on her own and she's been able to create a brand for herself that's independent of the Daily Wire, because when you think of Candace Owens, you don't think of the Daily Wire. You think of Candace Owens on the Daily Wire, regardless of whether you like her or you don't like her. I think that Elon Musk is going to offer her a bag because Elon Musk can offer the biggest bags, or she just might completely go independent, and so she may not do anything like that. She may partner with somebody and do something, but at this point, she can do anything that she want to do. She could do anything that she want to do. There is nothing that is stopping her. Uh, I think that she is, like I said, I think she's the hottest thing on TV right now. She has the perfect brand, the perfect identity. She taps into all audiences. She upsets people. She generates an emotion from people whenever she talks. Uh, she's incredibly intelligent. She's young. She's black. She's a woman. She got every single thing working for her, even if she's against the things that's working for her. And I don't think that she needs anybody. I think that she's going to be incredibly successful regardless. Who really checking for the Daily Wire after Candace Owens leave? I think that they lost a huge demographic of people that they otherwise would have never been able to be tapping into in the first place. So Candace Owens is dope. I don't know. The one thing that I'm wondering, though, is how tied in is she and how well does she structure her contract to be able to keep her platform 
um, if in case she decided to leave the Daily Wire and how would that work? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to own your stuff. You got to keep your own stuff. I wonder how that works, especially with YouTube and stuff like that. So I don't know. That's the thoughts. That's my thoughts on it. I'm going to keep you guys informed. I'm sure we'll have way more to talk about on Monday. But this news just broke this morning. And so I'm really, really um, just scratching the surface of what happened. I'm sure that she'll talk about it. Uh, and we'll review it, and we'll definitely go into that. Is Tucker? Do y'all think that Tucker Carlson is really getting a bag and winning at this point? I'll keep it. I, I, I'm gonna keep informed, and I'm gonna stay on top of it. Candace Owens has been on almost every single person's radar. She's been making her rounds. And another thing, it's almost like she's seen this coming, and so she's been tapping into and working and tapping into a completely different audience. She was on the Breakfast Club. Joe Button show. She on all of the black platforms, the white platforms. I've seen her on Destiny's uh, platform debating him. She a workhorse, bro. She a workhorse. So shout out to Candace Owens for breaking free and doing what you do. Run that bag up, baby girl. Hey!